Okay, I have a great effect to share with you today by Warner Miller, and he calls it Families. So for this, you need all 12 face cards, and as you can tell, I have them grouped together by value, jacks, queens, and kings. So let's go ahead and gather those. Now, since we both saw the cards, why don't we go ahead and just give them a thorough mix. This is a Charlier shuffle. I can add a link in the description below if you want to learn that shuffle. In fact, why don't we go ahead, let me put the joker up here, um, and further mix the cards here with input from you. Uh, do you want me to stack left on right or right on left? Your choice. You want left on right? And then why don't we follow it up with another uh, destructive shuffle. It's called the Klondike. Taking the top and bottom off is one. Okay, very good. Now, importantly, I need you to come in here and randomly cut the cards at any location and complete the cut. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to essentially, well, I am going to <laughs> push off this top six cards, the top half of the packet. Okay, so there's six and six in each. Now, of course, we have the joker here. So what I need you to do is to select either pile. You want the left one. Now I need you to switch the joker with the current top card there. So maybe we'll put that card up here and then we'll put the joker on top. Okay. And we'll stack those two piles together. Now at this point, we are going to perform uh, what I consider to be the most destructive systematic mixing procedure out there. It's called the under-down shuffle. And there's reasons to classify it as the most destructive, if you kind of follow my channel. Okay, wow, what a mess we've made there. So what I'm going to do now is just push off the top three cards. We have nine over here, like that. And spread these out like this. And as you can see, the Joker's in the middle of this group of three. Now what I need you to do is go ahead and just switch out the Joker with this one that you pulled out earlier. So we'll put, slide it right in there. Put the Joker up here. And maybe with my back turn, uh, you as the spectator can just randomly mix these as much as you would like. Just randomize those. Okay. And then at this point, I'd like you to turn these over and see what cards are in this little packet of three. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if you consider that kind of unusual, but we got Jack, Queen, and King of Clubs. That is pretty darn amazing. Now, I'm thinking right now that you're probably suspecting that each set of three here is similarly arranged. So to convince you that that is not the case, we're going to mix this packet thoroughly using something called a mange over under, over under. Okay, this really scrambles Cards that used to be next to each other could be on opposite ends of the packet, or cards that were close to each other have switched places and so forth. Okay, so well, let's take a look at this now. Groups of three, what has happened here? Oh, that's very nice. Okay, we tried to prevent this from happening, and it happened nonetheless. It's kind of like the Grinch who stole Christmas, and in the end, he could not prevent Christmas from coming. Okay, whoa, very good job. Okay, so how does this work? You just do everything that I did. There's no sleight of hand. There's no sneakiness to any of this. I've added a couple of elements of my own to Warner's original performance, so please Look at his original write-up in the description below because you might pick up some things there that you find valuable to include in your own rendition of this effect. Also, I will add a link to an entire library of mathematical card effects and math-based magic that Warner Miller has created over decades. So certainly check out his library of effects. Okay, so I don't think there's really anything I need to tell you here. Uh, the Charlier shuffle at the very beginning is equivalent to a packet cut. And I guess I could also point out 
the original ribbon spread cards, they weren't truly random within each card value. I had the jacks, queens, and kings cycling through the suits, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, and that's important. Okay, so if you follow my setup, uh, this is going to work perfectly for you every single time. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.